we're having all sorts of fun learning how to make some creative bling for your home or yourself for this Valentine's Day. I'm joined now by Jennifer Teeter. She's the Director of Education here at the Art Center in Quincy. This is pretty cool. And I know that this is, you said this is the Olympic medal version of <laughs> yeah. this art project, but what is this called? Um, it's a debossing and it's something you can do at home. It uses extra strength tin foil and uh, styrofoam plates. Oh, fun. And well, so you make one. Yeah, so what you can do is you can take your tin foil, it's extra strength, and then you take a styrofoam plate and you cut out your shape, whatever it is. We're doing hearts this morning. And you cut that out and then you would decorate the tin foil over top of that. Okay, so okay? just basically cutting it and pressing yep. it around. Right, and then you press it around and then you would take a stick. And this is a blunt stick um, that doesn't have a super big point because you mm -hmm. don't want to tear the tin foil, but you want something that's kind of pointy and that will actually make an impression on there. So you can actually deboss it. So there's a couple other ones that have been made. These are not hearts, but they're in the same idea. That's beautiful. Of the, of the leaf. And then there's one of a radial pattern, and then more of a rainbow color. There's all sorts of fun things you can do with this. <laughs> and look, if you use a permanent Sharpie, you can make designs on it, and yeah. it, it dries almost immediately. Yeah, the, the Sharpie dries really super quick. Now, yeah. what do we do with these once we're done? Well, I think they're really cool to have kids wear them around their neck, or you can hang them on the wall. Or you can actually take this and not punch a hole, and you can mount it on a piece of paper and make a valentine out of it. Fun and something fun for your, you to do at home with your kids to give to your spouse perhaps for the day of love coming up on Friday. Coming up on KHQ this morning, more exciting crafting tips for Valentine's Day here at the Quincy Art Center.